on a semi-cool day in California and I have a lot to share with you first of all I am doing a radio show this Sunday go right below here shockonout.net and click shock radio at the top now I have a favor for you uh, to ask you a couple of favors uh, whether you're an atheist or a Christian or whatever, what I would like you to do is would you click below and go to the Thinking Atheist YouTube channel, the Thinking Atheist YouTube channel right here below, and tell him that I would love to debate him. I want to debate him because uh, he's an atheist. He spends a lot of time on his radio show bashing God. He, you could tell he really hates God. And, um, so I'm hereby officially challenging him to a debate. I'll give him a week to get back to me. Um, because, as you know, I challenge the number one most subscribed to atheists on YouTube, the Amazing Atheist. I call him the Amazingly Hellbound Atheist. I'm not happy for it. I do pray for these guys. But I don't call atheism amazing. It's a bankrupt worldview that doesn't make any rational sense. And it actually contradicts itself big time. So would you contact the Thinking Atheist below and do me a favor, let me know what he says. All he needs is a headset microphone or a microphone. And he goes to shockonow.net and he clicks the chat room and he could debate me. I'll give him a week to respond because I'm not getting any response. I uh, contacted him on his channel, the front page of his channel and I have not heard a response. So would you guys do that for me, please? And then please let me know what he says about it. Um, Shockanow.net, I'm gonna give him a week to get back with me. Now let's talk about the radio show I'm doing Sunday. This Sunday, on the radio, go right below here where it says Shockanow.net, click Shock Radio. And listen to our show. We're going to be going through some errors and lies of evolution. I'm going to have my friend Micah on the show. And Micah is a evolution creation expert. He's absolutely brilliant. And um, very interesting to talk to also. I want someone that's very interesting as a good friend of mine. So I got some good news for you. Remember I told you the Question Evolution campaign is going full throttle. Remember I told you that? Look at it. It is going full throttle. I have a special announcement. We now have millions of new people that are learning about the Question Evolution campaign. You guys sitting down, you're not going to believe this. This is such good news for creationists. Guess who just came on board with the Question Evolution campaign? You ready for this? <laughs> this is awesome. A huge organization, you know them as well as I do, the Traditional Values Coalition. Woohoo! Yes! They have come on board. Um, click below right here where it says uh, creation.com uh, and, and also you can see the Traditional Values Coalition. Make sure you sign up with their email and join them. It's awesome. They have millions of members. And what we're doing, this grassroots movement, as we are putting the errors and lies of evolution in the forefront of the public's eye. Do you know that every single evolutionist I've talked to, every single one, even the ones that are on YouTube, 100% of them will admit that evolution has some errors. Evolution has done some fraudulent things. Some of the scientists that have been caught doing fraud adjusting fossils and things like that. I'm going to be talking about these fraudulent scientists, different things they've done. We're going to be talking about the heirs of evolution. There's going to be a giant chat room open Sunday. Click right below here, go to Shock Radio at the top, and you'll see the radio show scheduled there. We will be live talking to you about the heirs of evolution. Now, 
the traditional values coalition is awesome they are now on board like i said with the question evolution campaign you go to the traditional values coalition uh, page they promote religious liberty here's some of the things they do this is why i love them they champion judeo-christian values in the public square i 100 percent support them they do like to champion judeo-christian values they protect traditional marriage yes very important to protect traditional marriage they defend life from birth to natural death they defend life and you know every good person out there is pro-life and um so i am excited uh I kind of knew this was going to happen, but I had to wait for it to be official. And they said, "Shock! Don't make an announcement on it yet till it's official." Guys, this is extremely good news, and I, and I also got a favor to ask you. I'm going to put some links below. There's a video on the Question Evolution campaign that I would like for you to put on your website, your YouTube channel. And I'm going to put it on my file sharing site below. And also, if you just go to Creation Clips, if you go to Creation Clips, you will see that there's all types of videos you could put on your YouTube channel. We got the video there of Dawkins being stumped by a creationist. So, very good news. I want to sum up this video, and then I have a couple of announcements. I won another debate last night. So this video what did we cover we talked about how this is my official challenge to the thinking atheist i think that's an oxymoron because if he was thinking he wouldn't be an atheist i was an atheist and i looked and there was really no reason to believe that god doesn't exist but tons of reasons to know that god does exist so i'm challenging the thinking atheist he's gonna take the side of atheism and he's gonna give me reasons why he believes God doesn't exist. I'm going to take the side of non-fiction. I'm going to take the side of theism. And I'm going to give reasons why God does exist. And we'll let the public decide for themselves who gave the best reason. So would you guys please do that? Um, I would love to debate the thinking atheist, but they just, you know, when I, when I challenge the number one most subscribed to atheists on YouTube, the amazing atheist, he chickened out. He don't want to do it. So let's see if the thinking atheist chickens out. I'm going to give him one week by Sunday. So will you guys contact him and email me back and let me know what he said. What's his lame excuse why he's afraid to debate or whatever. Watch. I bet you I'm predicting he's going to chicken out. But the thinking atheist actually send this video to him. The thinking atheist, all you need is a headset mic. And you're going to go here to shockonnow.net and you're going to click enter chat room and let's get this show on the road my buckaroo let's let's show you how atheism is a bankrupt worldview whose purpose is to tell you you have no objective purpose so i would love to debate the thinking atheist maybe he'll start thinking he'll become a theist if he thinks rational Let's see what my friend here is writing. So we'll ride along here for a moment so I'll get you some good footage. This is a old school Honda. Um, I don't really have time to go that slow. I got a schedule, so let <laughs> me go over here. So, okay guys, the thinking atheist and I should debate. I am up for it. I need him to accept my challenge. And then all he got to do is go to shotgunnell.net below here and click enter chat room and it's an audio debate it's similar to skype you just have a headset on and you and you talk so uh, the thinking atheist get back with us on that would you guys contact him and let me know what his excuse was why he's afraid to debate now i know you're probably thinking shock why are you saying why do you think he's going to reject it well because i know these guys most atheists unfortunately have this cowardice about them 
where they're real brave when they're just bashing God by themselves and you know on the radio just bashing God or, or they're behind a podium but when someone can question them and can show them how bankrupt atheism is and can conquer them in a debate they get really scared in fact they transition into a chicken <laughs> they transition into a chicken okay <coughs> so do that for me thinking atheist look at that roller coaster the thinking atheist contact him tell him I officially challenge him to a debate he takes the side of giving reasons why God doesn't exist and I'll take the side of non-fiction and I will give reasons why God does exist and then we'll let the public make up their own mind number two this Sunday we have a radio show we're going to be doing the show on evolution some of the hilarious lies errors and frauds of evolution we're going to talk about that now don't forget download the question evolution video below and upload it to your YouTube channel if you're a creationist if you believe like I do that evolution's got some serious explaining to do in it evolution fails the scientific method do you know it's been proven that it fails the scientific method it's really very religious evolution's a religion we're gonna be talking about this it's a faith-based pseudoscience we're gonna talk about that there's a lot of errors in it okay last night I got a few more moments and then we're done last night I was in a debate I don't know what was this the 53rd debate that we won and it's not often where you score a knockout knockdown punch in a debate but I got one last night what happened is we were talking about the origin of the universe and the atheist was saying that I was debating was saying that energy or particles subatomic particles could have created the universe energy or subatomic particles particles could have created the universe this is what they were positing well um, the problem is is then during cross-examination during the debate I got him to concede and admit that none of those things were existing prior to this quote-unquote creation of the universe or what scientists call Big Bang or whatever he admitted that there was nothing no material no natural material no subatomic particles no energy no black hole there was nothing prior to the Big Bang so then he messed up and he said he believes the universe created itself well he just said there was no universe there was nothing how could it be there to create itself when it wasn't there see this is the fallacy of atheism see he admits there was nothing there and I agree because uh, there were clearly no matter energy space even time had a beginning he admits this but then he says well the universe created itself out of nothing really and everyone started laughing they said how could the universe create itself when you just told shock that the universe wasn't there see it'd have to be there to to create something but there's nothing there that the universe isn't there to create itself so anyways that was like the 53rd debate okay guys i'll see you sunday shock radio it's going to be awesome we're going to be live we're going to be talking about the errors pseudoscience frauds of evolution we're going to be pointing out things where you're going to realize how silly evolution is don't forget please do me a favor contact thinking atheist this is my official challenge for him to debate me let's see how confident he is in his atheism i predict like the amazing atheist did he will chicken out he will cower and he will not debate because atheism is just madness i'll see you sunday right here below shock radio god bless you guys